to another episode of the Glam Girl Reads Experience with your favorite host, Miss Glam. I just had a stain in my cape and I was trying to get it out. Have you ever had a time when you got a stain on your clothes? What did you do to get it out? Well, guess what? My preschoolers are talking about washing and drying clothes. Basically, how to take care of them. We also learned that you can hand wash clothes to get a stain out. We had a visit to the laundromat. And not to mention, we also have the dry cleaners that can help us take care of our clothes. Well, without further ado, I have a fabulous read for you today. It's called Wash and Dry. Can you say wash and dry? Oh, spectacular. It looks like you came today ready to go. Let's sing our morning song and jump right into our story. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Yes, how are you today? Is this your first time tuning in? Uh, if it's not, you are an old friend of mine. If it is, welcome aboard and you are a new friend of ours. The story that we're going to be reading today is called Wash and Dry and is written by Trish Holland. Are you ready? Put your feet together, take a great big jump up, and let's jump into our book. Oh no, my muddy dog just jumped on me. I'm grimy and slimy from cap to socks. Daddy says I smell like a wet dog. P.U. I'll add my dirty clothes to the rest of the dirty laundry. I'm glad mommy and daddy will help me wash and dry my clothes. I won't want to have to do this job by myself. Luckily, I still had lots of clean clothes in my dresser. It smells like a bag of lemons in there. I'll be glad when those dirty clothes smell that good. I'll carry this stinky basket over to the washing machine. I hold my breath as I walk and try to think about flowers. It's not working. I'm glad we have our own washing machine at home. My aunt takes her dirty clothes to Rub-A-Dub-Tub laundromat. There are lots of people there and the machines clink, clank, whistle, and whirl as they wash and dry the clothes. My aunt has to use a lot of quarters to wash and dry her clothes. At our house, mommy helps me wash my clothes. We put the really dirty clothes in a pile to be washed in the washing machine. It will twist and twirl the dirt right out of the clothes for us. We put some of the delicate clothes in a pile to be washed by hand. We swish and swirl the clothes in the soapy water. There are bubbles in my clothes and bubbles on my nose. Can you guess what they're doing now? You got it. Before we can put the clothes in the wash machine, we have to sort them. We make a pile of the light colored ones to wash together. If we wash daddy's dark red shirt with my white underwear, my underwear would turn pink. Yuck! We make a pile of dark clothes too. If we washed my white socks with mommy's dark blue pants, my socks would be baby blue. No way! We toss a load of dirty clothes in the washer. Then I shut the door. Mommy lets me pour dry soap powder in the hole at the top of the washer. Then I add the liquid fabric softener. Next comes the best part. I get to push the on button and listen to the machine start to work. I watch the sunny clothes slush around inside. I'm looking at my favorite book when I hear 
The washing machine signal tells me that the clothes are ready. They are clean, but, but still squishy. Daddy helps me with the next step, drying the clothes. If the sun is shining, we hang them outside on our clothing line. I hand Daddy the clothespins. The clothes will smell like the sun and wind when they are dry. When it's cloudy outside, we dry our dripping duds inside the house in the clothing dryer. They flip and fumble and flutter and tumble in the heat. The humming machine is warm. Even our cat likes when we use the dryer. Suddenly, I hear a buzz. The clothes are dry, but they are in one big tangle. We all help to fluff and fold the clothes. I like to fold the clothes into tiny triangles or silly circles. Mommy and Daddy fold the clothes into plain rectangles or simple squares. They don't play with the laundry. I think they're missing out on the fun. Some of the laundry needs to be hung up on hangers. Some of it needs to be ironed. The steam iron hisses while Daddy irons the wrinkled shirts. Daddy hisses back. He doesn't like this part of laundry. While Daddy irons, Mommy tells me that a long, long time ago, people washed clothes by pounding them on rocks in the river. I think I like our way of washing clothes better. Mommy says that people used to have to make their own soap. They would boil the ingredients in a big pot over fire all day long. The soap from each batch would last a long time. After all that work just to make soap, people still had to scrub the dirty clothes on a washboard in the tub. I bet doing laundry took a long, long time. My great-great-grandmother used a washing machine with a wringer at the top. When she cranked that handle, the wringer squished most of the water out of the clothes. She'll hang her clothes on the clothing line too. When they were dry, she used a giant ironing machine called a mangle. She'll crank that handle and those clothes will go in all wrinkled and come out smooth. I'm glad we don't have to work so hard at washing clothes. I can put on my favorite outfit and not smell like a wet dog. Oh no! Here we go again! And end when the story's over and when we reach the end. We live happily ever after in the land of make for ten. Bum bum bubbly bum. La 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you wanna read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Well, I hope you had a fabulous time. And I hope you learned several different ways that you can care for your clothes. Ways that people in the past have used to wash their clothes and take care of their clothes. And, and how we wash and take care of our clothes today. I hope you had a fabulous time and look forward to another read aloud about our clothing study along with some holiday readings coming up very soon. So long!